Hey, I'm Chris, and in this video I'm going to go through the process for designing and building a Mazzaroni shelf, which as far as projects go, is actually a pretty simple one. Now, Mazzaroni shelves are by no means a new thing. The reason I went and designed my own was because I wanted it to be laser cut out of 0.2 inch plywood and sized to hold spice jars in my kitchen. Jumping into the process for making this, I used Fusion 360. Walking back the timeline to the beginning, it all starts with a sketch of a circle. We are only going to use a piece of that circle, and the vertical line here represents the wall that the shelf will be resting on. Leaving the sketch, I performed a revolve to turn it into a solid. With a new sketch, I defined the shelf sizes that I wanted for a quarter of the shelf, then did an extrude cut, and mirrored that to the rest of the shelf. A Mazzarini shelf is a cool looking shape, but it can be inconvenient for shelf design because the edge shelves may not have enough depth while the center shelves may have too much. This is the point where you may want to play around with the original sketch to get the size and depth that you want. And at this point we have the final shape of the shelf, but not something that can be laser cut. To do that, I duplicated the current body, hid one of them, then used a sketch to remove all of the horizontal sections. Then I use more sketches to add the slots, which are half of the width of the shelf at the slot locations, and will let the horizontal and vertical shelves slide together. Then I did the exact same process for the horizontal shelves. Here you might notice a minor mistake that I made, and didn't catch until I laser cut the pieces. The center of the shelf does not need a slot, because there isn't any shelf that connects there. Thankfully a relatively minor error, and one that I cleaned up in the files that I'm sharing for this project. Last up are a few sketches whose sole purpose is to give me geometry that I can export into a laser cuttable format. And that's it for the designing. Now we can actually make it. Next up is the laser cutting process. I designed for and used 0.2 inch plywood, which is about as thick as my laser cutter can cut through. Somewhere in the description below, I'll have a link to the laser cutting files so that you can use them too. Besides that, the laser cutting mostly speaks for itself. Once laser cut, the next step is staining and finishing. I used a dark wood stain, then a couple coats of polycrylic finish. One of the last steps is actually assembling the shelf. At this point, you can glue the shelves together if you want but I personally thought that the shelves fit together well enough that I wasn't worried about them sliding apart when hung. And it makes it easier to disassemble if you ever plan on moving. One of the side effects of the laser cutting process was that some of the sides were burnt black while others were closer to the natural brown of the plywood, giving it a bit of a mottled appearance. Because some of the sides are on the front of the shelf and very obvious, I touched them up with a black stain to give them a better and more uniform appearance. The last part is hanging the shelf on the wall and putting stuff on it. When I designed this, I didn't have one specific way in mind for hanging the shelf. What I ended up doing was using two wall hooks that go directly into the wall, drilling two holes onto the back of the shelf, tying a string through them, and hanging the shelf that way. But that's it! I hope you enjoyed the project, feel free to like and subscribe. And of course, if you have any recommendations on any ways I can make these videos better, feel free to comment. Thanks and bye.